I'm about to do something I've never done before. Inside the men's room at Channel 13, I'm reaching into the toilet to get some water. Why? Well, I want to show you how the water from that toilet compares to this. And this. Thanks a lot. And this. Thank you. Over the past month, 13 investigates collected ice from dozens of popular restaurants and bars. The question is, how clean is that ice? Surely it has to be cleaner than that, right? Well, you're about to find out. At each restaurant and bar, we got our ice in a separate cup. Then we carefully poured it into a sterile container and took it to a state certified lab. Scientists melted the ice and analyzed it. And that's when we discovered a problem. More than half the restaurants we visited had at least one ice sample test positive for coliform bacteria. What's that? Well, here, see for yourself. Microbiologists at Purdue University put our ice samples under their microscopes so you can see what coliform bacteria looks like. These live bacterial cells swimming around in the melted ice are invisible to the human eye, but magnified a thousand times, make no mistake, they're there. They're there, yes. And that should definitely be a concern. It's a concern because according to state and federal regulations... It shouldn't be there at all. State health officials say coliform bacteria is common in the environment, but it's not allowed in drinking water and ice because some kinds of coliform bacteria can make you sick. Headaches, uh, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever. That's why public water systems around Indianapolis filter water and treat it with chlorine to kill all coliform bacteria. Finding even a single bacterial colony in drinking water falls short of the federal standard. Yet we found restaurants all over town where at least a small amount of coliform showed up in the ice. And several restaurants served us ice that had lots of coliform. At the Ram restaurant in Fishers, one sample of ice tested fine, but that glass of ice right there, it had 118 colonies of bacteria. At TGI Fridays on West 38th Street, testing showed some ice had three bacterial colonies, another sample had 299. The ice samples we collected from this Chinese buffet in Castleton, 238 and 474. And our lab results from Rick's Cafe Boatyard on Eagle Creek turned up six and then 488 colonies of coliform bacteria in the restaurant's ice, including the bacteria you see right there. And remember, even one colony of bacteria is too many, according to state and federal standards. How does this stuff get in the ice to begin with? There could be so many routes that it would be hard to describe. Proper handling should assure that there should not be any contamination. It's only whenever that process breaks down that there should be a problem. But the problems happen a lot, and inspection reports prove it. Last year, local health inspectors found the insides of ice machines to be dirty, soiled, rusted, slimy, and covered in residue. They found ice contaminated by buckets, plastic cups, and ice scoops stored in the ice where they don't belong. And remember Rick's Cafe? Well, last year, the health department cited that restaurant seven times for ice-related problems, including several unclean ice machines and unsafe ice contaminated by a bird nest above an outdoor ice bin. They need to do a little better job of keeping things clean. Ron Turco is director of Indiana's Water Resources Research Center at Purdue. And he says contamination often results from poorly maintained equipment or employees touching the ice. And that's where you get into trouble with ice is the handling, is the contact with humans. He says that's probably what happened at the TGI Fridays and Chinese buffet we just showed you. At those restaurants, some of the ice we tested not only had high levels of coliform, but it also tested positive for E. coli, a form of bacteria that can pose serious health risks. You need to protect the ice. You need to keep the stuff out of the ice. If somebody hasn't washed their hands correctly. So what about that toilet water? Probably not something you'd want to drink, but consider this. Its coliform bacteria reading was a two. That's better than a lot of the ice we tested. In fact, the cold hard truth is 
about one out of three ice samples from local restaurants and bars had more bacteria than that toilet water. If you're thinking, hold the ice, you're not alone. You don't want to know that there's something in your ice. You want your ice to be clean. So how did your favorite restaurant do in our test? You can see detailed test results on all 25 bars and restaurants we checked at WTHR.com. On our website, you'll also see how restaurants responded. Some of them reacted very quickly to our investigation. Restaurants like Rick's Cafe, TGI Fridays, and Eight China Buffet, they drained and sanitized all their ice machines. And some restaurants retrained their employees on the proper way to handle ice. The bottom line, health officials say our report should serve as a wake-up call to all bars and restaurants to help keep you from getting sick. I'm Bob Siegel, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.